Hello all, this is a quick tutorial on how to make Chrome using Maya 2011, Autodesk Maya 2011. Um, I'm going to be using some simple shape, um, like a, some sort of a jet or something, really quick. So first of all, I'm going to go to File, Projects, No. Call this air jet, and I'm gonna use the default setting and accept. I'm gonna go to file, project, accept, and I'm gonna set the air jet. Click on set. Okay, from here, I'm gonna go to create. Polygon primitives, make sure you're in the polygon menus tab. Go to create polygon primitive and select a cube. That's what I'm going to be building out of. Click um, F to frame up. I'm going to move it up to the grid. There you go. I'm going to scale it. Like so, bring it forward. Like so, hit this cube right here. That's the shaded mode. I'm gonna go to face mode. Select these two faces. And go to add a mesh and extrude. This like so. Hit G again to repeat the last command. Bring it outwards. Scale it down. There you go. I'm gonna bring this out. I have this tool right here I added to my shelf I created a new shelf um, I think you know how to do that if you've been using Maya for a while so I'm gonna click it I'm gonna click over here on top on the Y axis and then I'm gonna go to the middle and scale it and works bring it out a little bit I'm gonna screw it again the same process, make it smaller and extrude again. Bring it outwards and scale it inwards. This is some simple shape I just created. I'm gonna go to mesh, smooth, highlight the object, go to the channel box. Scroll down to where it says Poly Smooth Face. And on the division, you could add two or three. That looks much, much better. Okay. I'm going to bring it up more. So, I'm going to create a plane. Hold Shift and drag so you could scale it uniformly go to the channel box and highlight all this and click zero that will pop it up in the grid on the center of the grid scale it up okay from there go to windows Rendering editor and hypershade. Wait for it to load. Um, I'm gonna get a blim and also, first of all, let me assign this to the ground. I'm gonna assign this 
one way you could do this is metal mouse drag from the material onto the object. It should be shiny as you can see. I'm gonna create a mental ray material and I'm gonna create a DGS. And you could also select the object, right click on it, assign material to selection. Um, you could close this. Go to the attribute editor with the object selected. If you don't see it here, um, the DGS that we just created, scroll all the way to the right, and there you go, it's right here. I'm going to put the diffuse on zero, the glass in there, I'm going to make it a little bit darker, the specular in the middle, make it a little lighter, the shininess, I'm going to put it on night. All right, so right there. Okay, close the attribute editor. Go to the render settings. Render using right here. Change it to mental ray. Under common, scroll all the way down. Render options. And enable the full light, turn it off. Okay. Now go to the quality tab, wait for it to load. From the quality presets, I'm going to choose production. Okay. Go to indirect lighting, turn on global illumination, and final gather. Image based light, create. Okay, you see that created. Go minimize this or close it. Um, for, and now for the image, so it could light up the scene since we turned off the default light. So go to Google and look for HDR environment Other image click on large you've got a lot of resolution on the picture and I'm gonna choose this first one I'm gonna go to full first got the full size Right click, I'm going to save it as. I'm on my documents, Maya, projects, airjet, and under image source. And I'm going to save it right here. Okay, back to Maya. Um, it should be open already. If you didn't accidentally click on it, you could reopen it, just highlight it. Under the image name of the mental ray shape one, um, click on the little icon folder, and there you go, final HDR. Okay, there you go. And I'm going to scale this a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to put a giant right there, and I'm going to do a quick render. And there you go, nice, quick, simple way.